This is a review of the Prime Products Model 12-4058 Digital AC Line Voltage Meter and Polarity Tester. Now this has two main functions. One is to measure the AC line voltage, which the 120 in the bottom part shows the current voltage being measured. And then the top area, Polarity Check, tells you if your outlets are wired correctly, if they have the correct polarity, or a reverse polarity, or perhaps an open neutral or an open ground. So it'll give you uh, an idea if you have any faults, as well as what the current voltage is. Now it's important to know the voltage when you're at the campground, because many campgrounds may have marginal power systems, and you don't want to get into a situation where you have a brownout, which may damage uh, air compressors and such like that. And a brownout generally is regarded as anything below maybe 110 or 105 volts. So that can happen in a campground, especially when you get more people hooked up to it on a busy weekend. You can certainly get into that situation. And now to check the accuracy of this AC line meter, I'm comparing it to my Fluke uh, 115 True RMS Multimeter. And it shows that they're both showing 120 volts. Now one thing you have to be aware of with any digital meter is the last digit, whether it's this one or a tenth of a volt, such as in this one. There's something called a hysteresis error in which the last digit can be off by one digit. So for example, um, if this were reading 120.5, this may be reading actually 120 half the time and maybe 121 half the time because that half a volt can go either way between uh, 0 and 1. So the advice I'm giving you is don't sweat the last digit so much. If it's off by 1 volt, well, you know, that's fine anyway because this thing can run between probably 110 and 130 volts without any damage to your system. and if it is off by uh, one volt or a half a volt, really you're not going to make a much of a difference. So be that as it may, this is fairly an accurate meter. And for comparison's sake, I compared a Camco analog meter, and that thing was about four or five volts off. So sometimes the analog meters uh, are not quite as accurate as um, these digital meters. Now one thing an analog meter will give you is transients where a digital meter is just too slow responding uh, to do that. Now, sophisticated meters like this Fluke has a peak uh, meter on it, a little bar graph along the bottom. You can probably just see it right there. And it does a better job showing transients. You shouldn't really see any transients if you're using a surge suppressor on your system. And if this thing is fluctuating constantly from 0 to 1, 0 to 1, 0 to 1, it's probably not a transient. It's probably just that the voltage reading is somewhere in between the two. And again, that's the hysteresis error that I was describing. That's probably um, what you're actually seeing. So if this is fluctuating between uh, one digit and another, don't be too concerned about it. Uh, that's just kind of a nature of how these uh, meters work. So, I mean, you should have something in your RV to show the voltage whenever you plug in. And uh, you can go with uh, something cheaper like an analog meter for around 10 to 15 dollars or this one was actually only about 25 dollars so this is going to probably provide better results than the analog meter